Happy New Year, everybody. I was too happy. Happy New Year, everybody. I was so dumb. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, everybody. Woo! I'm back like I left some. Hi, beautifuls, it's Ashy Desires, and I'm here again with another juicy video. I told y'all I'm gonna come back again with disclosure. I know y'all been watching like, dang, her clothes be laid. <laughs> I know. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I lay my clothes just flat on the wigs and on one of my clients. Because I know one y'all gonna ask me. Ashley, I know that you showed it on the wig, but does it, does, can you do the same thing on myself? Yeah, you can. I mean, same procedure, same procedure, just a different head. There's a different head. In this video, you need a rat tail comb. I like to use a rat tail comb because it has more teeth and it's much more smaller so you can hold on to it and, you know, get that hair straight. Also, you need a brush. I like using a soft brush. I don't like using a hard one because I feel like that's damaging the closure when you're brushing it. So, just get you a soft brush and it gets the flyaways out the way, especially when you're doing a lace close, I'm telling you, it's magic. Also, you'll need a mousse. You can use any type of mousse, but the mousse that I'm using is from Silk Elements. I'm telling you, they are the bomb.com. This, this mousse right here, you can buy it at Sally's. You can buy it at Walmart, honey. Don't even look at the price. I don't even know how much it costs. It must be a good price because I bought it. <laughs> but this mousse, I use it on all my lace closures. It gets it flat as can be. It's really a, a good helping source with these hard-headed closures because I have been dealing with some hard-headed closures lately. And they're getting on my nerves. But this Silk Elements can get you right. You need a heat protector because you'll be using a blow dryer. And the heat protector that I'll be using in this video is also... From the beautiful and amazing silk elements. I'm telling you, look, I use so much the words coming out. Look at that. But this is how it looks. You can go get it at Sally's and get it at Walmart. I'm telling you. I don't know if they sell it at Walgreens. But I know you can get it at Sally's and, and um Walmart. But this is how it is. They do have a spray form of it. I don't I haven't used it on my lace closures as of yet, but you can try it out. But I would tell you, just don't waste your time. Go go and get you this one, okay? Also, you need a blow dryer. I was showing you the blow dryer in the video, so keep on watching. So here is the closure we'll be working on today. This lace closure is from Elfin Hair. This is actually my gray wig that I had in a previous video. Right now, I'm using a rat tail comb to spread out the hair to cover the tracks, making sure that the hairs are spread out evenly. And I'll be using the foam that I showed you and making sure that it's all over the closure so the hairs can stay in place. Since this particular closure is on the tamer side, we won't have a big challenge by laying it flat. So after you're done using the foam, you want to make sure to get your soft brush and you're going to brush the closure down, making it look more neater and making sure that the hairs are in the right place. And before blow drying, you want to make sure you get that heat protected and you spread it onto the closure. Now you don't have to use clips, but I choose to for this closure because the hairs like to go crazy when I'm using the blow dryer. And the blow dryer I'm using today is from Revlon. I just bought it, it's amazing. And it's on high hot when I use it on my lace closures. Make sure to have your blow dryer on top of your lace closure and use your soft brush brushing down. You wanna keep doing this until it is as flat as you want it. So here is the side by side. You can see a big difference. The side that we worked on is so much flatter than the side we didn't get to touch it. So after you're done blow drying that other side, your lace closure should look just like this. I'm telling you that heat protecting gives it so much luster. It looks so beautiful and it looks very flat. This is also my gray hair and I dyed it aquamarine because I like gray hair but it ain't like something I should be wearing all the time. This elephant hair 
is everything. Before we go to the next scene, can y'all go to Elfin Facebook and like my picture? I'm trying to win this contest. I mean, anything will help. Because I'm their hair is expensive, and I'm trying to get some free hair. Because they ain't trying to give it out to a real girl. <laughs> Thank you. I'll have the link down there. So since I've been doing this procedure on my lens closure, I said, you know, why don't I just try it on my clients? And I've seen that it's been a big improvement with that. So I was like, you know what? Let me try it out. And I love how it came out. Hope you guys enjoy it too. So keep on watching. This is a closure that my client brought in. I saw that it's not on the tamer side, so it might be a challenge. But right now I'm using a rat tail comb to comb out all the kinks. Now we are gonna use that amazing mousse from Silk Elements and just spread it around the hair. And then we're gonna use the Ratto comb just to comb out the hair, making sure that it's going all around and that it's covering up her tracks. This is how her closure looks after I use the foam and now I'm gonna use the heat protectant and get right into this closure with the blow dryer. I know I use a soft brush on the wig, but let's say if you don't have a soft brush, you can use a rat tail comb and you can use it the same way, just making sure that your closure is laid down flat. done blow drying both sides of the lace closure and the back it should look just like this nice smooth and flat I like that. The bitch, I was like, dang. Don't forget to like my picture on Facebook, on Elfin page. The link will be down below. But don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share this video. And I'll be back with y'all real soon because our real girl got her a new camera. And I'm going to be vlogging. What? 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 I want to thank you all for watching my videos. And I want to tell you all, thank you so much. I'm almost at 6,000 subscribers. I didn't think I was going to even have 1,000 subscribers when I started my YouTube channel. But I just want to say thank you to all the people who watch my videos, to all the people who just scan my videos over. They probably ain't going to see this video. But I'm going to say thank you so much. I appreciate it a lot. Bigger and better things in 2016 for you, me, everybody. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video because I have a huge surprise on some new hair. Boom!